How has your preseason been going? I think our uh, preseason camp has met expectations. I think it's kind of exceeded them too. Kind of started off slow, uh, but now we're guns a-blazing. I think everyone's clicking on the same page. Uh, new coach, new system, new defense. I think everyone's just starting to pick up now that we've been here for about two weeks now. So, so, so far preseason has gone pretty much as best as it could. Defense um, is looking sharp. Our offense um, has also been taking it to us as well. Very excited under Coach Hilbert and what we've been doing. It's been going great. My um, guys were uh, flying to the football. Everybody's, you know, prepared. We're ready to go. Um, everybody's, you know, excited about, you know, actually going to get somebody else. We all, we've always been going against our team, our players. So the fact that we're going to get someone else is very exciting. So. Do you believe you guys are well prepared for your scrimmage against Worcester? I think we're going to be well off tomorrow. Uh, Worcester is uh, a new guy, a new opponent that we play. We usually scrimmage uh, Case, so we're not really used to them. But I'm sure whatever they throw at us, uh, everything that's been leading up to this preseason, spring ball, winter conditioning, winter lifting, and summer, I think we should be good. Very prepared, probably as, as prepared as we could be. Everybody's ready to hit. Um, and a different colored jersey, as you'll probably hear a lot. Um, so um, going forward, tomorrow's going to be exciting, definitely. Yeah, it's very uh, prepared. Uh, we're working countless hours on the plays, and we're getting guys mentally ready and physically ready to, you know, beat up Wooster, So, How do you think the preseason has been going so far? I think preseason has gone really well. I think our guys have done a great job of uh, adapting to a new culture. Uh, guys have stepped up. Uh, we've really tried to implement toughness into our uh, football culture. I think the kids have responded. Uh, I think our guys have taken one day at a time. And kind of embrace the grind. I know during camp we uh, you embrace that grind. There might be a day or two where you kind of get lack of days go, but I think our guys have bounced back from that and kind of getting ready for our scrimmage against Wooster, which I know is a big day. Finally get a chance to hit a different color jersey. Uh, I think our guys are well prepared uh, for the Wooster scrimmage. Uh, finally get to hit, hit another team with a different color jersey. Uh, and I'm looking forward to see kind of where we're at as a football team. Coming together as a team, offense, defense, and special teams, uh, seeing how where we're at, and not hitting each other. You know, I know the guys kind of the last couple of days have been tired of hitting each other. We had our inter squash scrimmage Saturday, did some good things, but finally get a chance to hit another team. I know they're excited about that and excited about the opportunity they have in front of them. Are there any specific offensive and def defensive players that have been sticking out? Uh, I think on the defense side of the ball, I think are really our defensive front, uh, led by Damon Bowen. Damon has really had a good, uh, good, great camp. Uh, I think guys like Michael Rush, uh, Shark, Anton Richardson, uh, I said, the list goes on and on. Spence, these guys have really done a great job up front. Andy Schultz, and also I think two of our main, three of our leaders, uh, Sean Nishwitz, Trip Washington, and, and Sam Groff, have really had a great camp of letter defense. I really like some of the things we've done. We've learned to play a book and start to understand people's roles and where they're supposed to be, and I'm excited about our defense. And then offensively, I think uh, Andy Shirowski leads our D offensive line. Uh, I see one of our leaders up front. Uh, to go along with Jake Hudson. I think Jake's had really had a good summer camp as a quarterback. We throw a lot of different things at him on the defense side of the ball. He's really handled himself really well. And Rob Wolverton, that receiver, really has had an unbelievable camp. He's done really well. And going to the special teams, you go to the Greer Twins. Darian and Dion has done a really good job returning-wise. And one of our freshmen, uh, Brandon Wolmer, has done a really good job kicking to go along with Jimmy Marshall. So we're excited about all these guys, excited about our three phases. I think sometimes special teams go unnoticed, but those guys have done a really good job.